Hey, Hebrew fans. I was just getting ready to tear Titus apart to, to use some parts for uh, some uh, um, customs. I already took his head off using hot water and his boots off using hot water. Now this Titus right here happens to be uh, one that I painted more skin color. You can see on his wrist here, this is an original color, and I painted him more skin color to be, you know, more uh, fleshy looking instead of jaundiced looking. Um, but I decided that I was going to uh, just pull this guy apart and I thought, you know what? I'm going to catch that on video. So that's what this is right here is me ripping apart Titus. So let's see if I can tear him apart on camera and uh, live. Uh, maybe I should have heated him up first. Oh. You know what? I'm going to grab my heat gun. I'll be right back. got my heat gun. Let me plug this thing in. Now whenever you use a heat gun, you want to make sure you have some place to put it. Some sort of heating pad or something else so you don't uh, accidentally uh, burn yourself or hurt other things around you. So let's go ahead and heat this thing up. Actually, I think hot water probably would have done better, but I don't have a big enough vat in this room to dunk him in hot water. I notice I keep rotating him. I don't want him to overheat in one spot or another, so I keep rotating him. Let's go ahead and... uh. Try to pull us apart now. Ugh. That is just really stuck on there. There we go. It's a bummer I ended up ripping it, but I was hoping it'd pop off the knob inside there. But what I was trying to get to is the loincloth. I wanted to save this loincloth off of this figure. And you can see I would have, well, it was actually glued it on. See, so, you know, I would have been more careful. I couldn't have got that off, even if I did heat it up enough to get that off. And it's funny, as you look, it's just made like the classics, but giant. You can see it has the large size there, the small size there. That's cool. But I should have grabbed my screwdriver because I don't want to ruin this loincloth to get it off, but I need to break apart all that glue inside there. Let's see if we can't get that. Oh, I got it. Cool. There is a giant loincloth that will be used for my custom. And you can see the color difference again here. Between the original color and my new fleshy color I used on this, it's a huge difference. He looked, originally it looked very jaundiced in color. And I was pretty proud at first of my cool paint job, but as time went on, it slowly looked more and more gray to me. And I kind of just got tired of, you know, looking kind of gray. And every time I'd move an arm or move a piece, it would just scrape and come off. So that's why I decided just to go ahead and just forego getting rid of this guy and using his parts for a custom. So these shorts, I'm thinking about putting them, after I sand this out, onto that um, giant 12-inch He-Man made by Mondo so he has the right shorts. That's my plan, so I'm going to check that out and see how that works. But I just wanted you guys to see uh, me ripping apart Titus on camera so you can see what it looks like inside. And there you go. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have a chance, check out my stop motion movie. I think I might make some fun stop motion just with these figures as I use them for the title shot. Not the Hebrew in the corner because he's a classics. But I uh, love the Origins figures. They're awesome. And something else that I've done recently, for those that are curious, 
is I'm gonna make a video on this. This is my new hot water system. And uh, I'll explain it in a future video, but it's pretty cool. It's a way to keep the water hot while I'm working on my custom figures. And I'll explain how I made this in an upcoming video. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you later on and I'll make a video on this soon and uh, explain that as well. Bye now.